On the Contextures website, there's a worksheet data entry form that you can download and then customize to your own needs. So we'll take a look at just the basics of how it's set up and then how you can change things to either add fields or, or change what's on this sheet. The first thing to do when you open the file is make sure that macros are enabled. So I'm in Excel 2010. I'm just going to click Enable Content. In Excel 2007, you'd also see something above the formula bar, or you might see a pop-up message in some versions asking you to enable macros. So go ahead and do that. And I'm not going to make this a trusted document right now. So I've enabled the macros, and that will make all these buttons work so we can add or update records or go and look at what we've stored or scroll through the records and to change something now perhaps I just want to change a heading so instead of location I might want to call it area or instead of cost make it price if you change headings here then go to the parts data sheet and make the same changes here. So this would be area, and we've already changed this one to price. So just make your headings here match what you've got on the parts data sheet. Going back to the input sheet, there are some hidden columns between D and G. So I'm going to highlight from D to G, and then right click and unhide. These columns let us mark the fields that are optional and the ones that are mandatory. So I've put an X for any mandatory field and left blank the ones that are optional. There's a formula in the next column that just checks to make sure there's an entry in all of the mandatory fields. So if we want to add a new field here, perhaps we need to keep track of color or size as well as, as the part name. So I want to insert a new set of cells right in here. So I'm going to select all four of those cells. And then on the ribbon, I'll go up to Insert, Cells, and Shift Down. OK. So that gives me a new row in my table. And I'll put Color, then I'll leave that as optional, so I'm not going to put an X there. And to get the formula from the cell above, I'll just fill that down so that there's a formula there now. In this cell, there's a drop-down that picked up the drop-down for part. So I could either remove the data validation and just let people type, or I'd have to make a new list to use for that data validation cell. There's a lookup list worksheet where I've got my part names and locations so you could add more lists to this sheet if you want more data validation. For now I'll just go to the data validation and I'll clear it. People could just type a color in there. When you've added your column here go to the parts data sheet and insert a column with the same heading. So that when you copy the data, there'll be a spot for it to go. And then when you've finished, just select E and F, right click and hide so that the users aren't confused by seeing those columns that they shouldn't be doing anything in. And now if we update this record 10102, and go to the database, you can see that it's updated it and put the color in. So you add new fields and just make sure there's a column for that data so that everything lands in the right spot.